Joe. Good evening, everybody. Glad you've made the decision to be with us. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We're glad to be bringing you action and welcoming you. Round number one is now underway. All the talk is done. It is simply time to fight. What do you see in this matchup here between the unorthodox fighter against a guy who likes to get his business done on the inside? Well, the unorthodox fighter is going to have an advantage on the outside, I think, a little bit before the aggressive fighter gets in. You know, he's going to be able to use his speed, and, you know, his technical flaws might not be taken advantage of as the guy's coming in, you know, as the guy's still at a distance where he's not close enough to do anything. But once the aggressive fighter gets in, in close. Now all the technical flaws, the things that the real talented unorthodox fighter has, all of a sudden now he's going to have a problem. The aggressive fighter is going to be able to bang that body, take that head movement away, you know, make him pay a price. Goes up top with a right hand. Gets rid of that effort. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. Able to dismiss his opponent's shot and then comes back with an uppercut. Phenomenal pace being set here. They are burning it up early on. Let's find out who's in better shape. We're going to see. That's as good as it gets right there. A crushing uppercut by Meldrick Johnson. Good stuff by David Hay, working his combinations well. And we come to the end of round number one. David Hayes showing off a real boxing IQ in that last round. Just fighting smart. I mean, not just reckless aggression, but smart accurate punching and talking about IQs it's being led by that left jab an educated left jab a jab that talks a little bit talks a couple languages I mean he's hooking off it he's uppercutting off it he's doubling up on it good job takes one to give one uppercut in return See what he can do when he sends that right to the head. And another right hand comes in. Right to the belt line. Johnson's showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. That's a forceful two-punch combo by Johnson. That's a razor-sharp uppercut by Meldrick Johnson. Must be the punch of the day. Both guys bringing home uppercuts. Oh, a nice two-punch combo by David Hay. Good clean shot returning fire. Well done by Meldrick Johnson. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Final 10 seconds. And this round comes to an end. Johnson's attitude in that last round really paid off. You saw he was the much busier fighter. He got hit. Oh, now the uppercut. Fine work with the double jab downstairs. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the word by David Hay. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Didn't get it done going to the body there. 
takes one but gives one. Good work by David Hay. David Hay's defense, is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. Good solid shots with the combo downstairs. Well timed by Johnson. He took a step back, landed the counter punch. Exactly what he wanted to do. Halfway through this round here, able to dismiss that body shot. How about that exchange? Nice strike after catching one by Meldrick Johnson. Good old-fashioned one-two by David Hay. Nice work. Really wanted that uppercut, but just couldn't get it. What impact from that uppercut by Meldrick Johnson. So he decides to go downstairs early on, and I think he'll be happy with that decision later on. Well, it tells you that he's a well-prepared fighter. His corner came in here with a good game plan. They understood what they had in front of him. A guy that's going to move a little bit. Start going downstairs, taking the air out of the tires, and later on, he'll be in front of you. And the bell rings, signifying the end of the round. David Hayes up around here after three rounds on Teddy's scorecard, but really nobody has distinguished themselves to any great amount so far. Thought he had his target, but way off to the side with the uppercut. Targeting that midsection now with the combo. He took a go of it to the body but came up empty. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here tonight? Well, two aspirin and then go... Oh, no. Actually, I would say a little counterpunching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. And now they're trading blows. David Hayes on the receiving end of a very good counterpunch. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Meldrick Johnson. A good, clean, old one-two by Johnson. Ten seconds to go in this round. Back underway here to live fight action. Tough fight to score. Very, very even. Closely contested bout throughout. See him with the left of the head there. Way to block there. Teddy, you gotta like this because he's using that jab the way you like him to. Especially when you're being aggressive. You walk in, you want to walk in where the guy can't see you coming. That jab blinds your opponent. Well, you can see what he wanted to do there, but unable to land that body shot. Oh, 
able to get away from that headshot with the block. Flush blow, the left hand by David Hay. Coming to the end of round number five, last ten seconds. Well, if the second half of this fight is anything like the first half we just witnessed, then oh boy, is it going to be fun watching this fight down the stretch. And I don't think it can change. These guys came here with a certain attitude, a certain mindset, and it's not going to be able to change now. There's no way of all of a sudden in mid-fight being able to go to a defensive fight or a different strategy. What you see is what you get, and you're going to get it the rest of the night. You got to watch the water in the corner. Come on. live action now in what has been a closely contested fight. One of those fights that somebody is still waiting to break through and be a difference maker in. Johnson. Oh, Teddy, this has got to drive his trainer crazy because he's leaving himself wide open with these sweeping shots. Well, you talk about that old saying, leaving the barn door open and the horses are going to go out. Well, guess what? The punches sooner or later, they're going to come in. 101, a nice crisp combination by Johnson. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Johnson's combination punching is working well here. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Meldrick Johnson. Halfway through round six. That was not well targeted by Johnson. Little head knocking with that right hand. Committing to the body work with the double jab. That counter punch was very effective. He scored well. Nice work by David Hay. in return. Nice work by Meldrick Johnson. Johnson's timing with his head movement has been ideal. We have not seen his opponent being able to land anything clean up top tonight. No, because his opponent is not making the proper adjustments. You know, when the head is moving, the body's still there. You can't catch the head. Go downstairs to the body. You paralyze that head. You start to take that movement away. Before you know it, the guy's not quite as elusive. What an excellent two-punch combo by Johnson. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left-hand scores. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Meldrick Johnson. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Committing to that midsection as the target with the combination punching. Oh, he just ate a big uppercut right there. He had no idea it was coming. Big, big shot comes crashing home. And he is down. He is down for the first time tonight. Down he goes, now up he gets. 
And if he wants to stay up, he's gonna have to grab on. Kill a little time. Able to block and counter back. work from both men. They each got a shot in. Great work offensively landing that combination by Johnson. Johnson's been having great success with these combinations, Teddy. Well, there's a reason for it. He's using his jab to start it. And then he's letting the punches go. He's letting their hands follow. See, that's what you want from his left hand. That's exactly what it should be doing. That left hand by Johnson. Start round number eight. Johnson's up on Teddy's scorecard. I think that's clear to see, Teddy, but it's also clear to see that it has not been the easiest of nights for him. No, and it's clear to see we're coming up to a fork of the road. It could go either way. We're going to find out. Now he goes to the gut with a right hand. Johnson's picking up right where he left off. Remember how he finished that last round? Yeah, he really finished strong really fast. And you know what? This is a thinking man's fight. I know a lot of people are going to say Teddy's just an aggressive fighter. No, he understands in his corner understands that his opponent only had 60 seconds to recover, and they're jumping on him, figuring that the opponent hasn't recovered. I really like what he's doing here. I mean, if you were to pick any one piece of weaponry that you say aligns with what he is strategically as a fighter, it is the jab, and he's firing it off beautifully. And he's firing it off consistently all night at the right distance. He's getting full extension on that punch, and that's making him effective offensively and safe defensively. He's out of the other fighter's range. Johnson's three-punch combination there is going to impress the judges. a stinging right hand by David Hay. There's the old one-two. to an end. Johnson's in dominating form here tonight. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and he's ahead on our scorecards ringside. Yeah, but don't forget, he's in the other guy's hometown, so don't let up too soon. Don't start partying too soon. You know, still keep doing the things you were doing to get you to this place. You gotta watch the water in the corner. Too much. They start up again, back to action here with another round. But who knows how much longer it'll last. This has been a completely one-sided fight. David Hayes crushed by a huge uppercut. Good combination on the one-two by David Hay. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Good 
Clean shot, returning fire. Well done by David Hay. Comes right back at him with a left hand. This is not what I like with David Hay. Sometimes he gets sloppy defensively. He needs to tighten up there. You can see how his opponent is able to get in consecutive shots. Johnson's got a little something coming back at him. A counter punch scored. to the body again. Johnson's power punching tonight has been on the mark throughout. You almost wonder if his opponent can take any more. Yeah, well, you wonder if his opponent gets insulted if you miss him. I mean, move your head. One more time, the last round has arrived. Blocks the headshot. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. He's committed to that left hand and it's working out. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Meldrick Johnson. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. David Hayes got to do more than this. I mean, you can't just sit there stationary and expect the night to go your way. This fight is going opposite of how he needs it to go right now. Well, maybe it's not, Joe. Maybe he's given up already. You know, it's all about what's going on in the mind of a fighter. Maybe he's given in, and this is his way, believe it or not, of getting the ref to stop this fight. And now we got a fight. David Hay got shook up right there. Oh, that's got to hurt. How will David Hay react now? A power shot two, just floored him. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's over. This fight is over. Johnson's gunned down yet another opponent. A knockout victory. Ladies and gentlemen, by knockouts, your winner, Johnson. what you want to see a guy who can close the show and finish with style he ends up a knockout victor tonight and that's